Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in response to Dennis Sheckler. Although the techniques you will learn are applicable to any collage artist. I have opened up this photo of my daughter and I have already got rid of the background um, and I've also zoomed in a little bit, cropped it so she takes up most of the picture. And the first thing we're going to do is learn how to cut this hole into the face and show that kind of thickness of the skin. So zoom in as always so you can see what you're doing. And I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool and I'm going to quickly go around the area that I want to cut out. And she's looking to the left, so I'm going right up to the edge of her face. Then double click and press delete. And you now have an empty space. Uh, we're going to create a new layer. And then we're going to fill that new layer with um, the colour that we want that edge to be. Okay, so dark skin. Fill that in with the paint bucket tool. And then on the same layer, we're going to go select, modify, contract. And we're going to contract it with about 15 pixels. And then we're going to press delete. And that's going to give us that little edge that we wanted. Okay. So now I'm going to get the magic wand tool. Zoom in a bit so you can see. In hindsight, I probably didn't need the magic wand tool, but it's there anyway, just to make sure. And I've double clicked on the layer and I'm now going to use Inner Glow. Okay, and I've got a dark, like kind of purpley color. Um, Opacity is right the way up, and I've made sure that I've used the tools to show a kind of inner glow, and that's given me a kind of um, more realistic edge. Right, now we need to think about what's going to fill that hole. So I'm going to open up, um, I've already selected some pictures from the internet. So I'm going to open up this picture of space that I found. And control C, control V to paste it into this image. And making it bigger and holding shift while I do so to make sure that it stays the right shape rather than squishing it. Moving the layer below the other layers and getting the bit of the picture that I want in the face in the right position. I then go to the layer with the hole in it and I use the magic wand tool to select just the hole. I go to select inverse to change the selection to everything else. I go back to the layer with the picture on it and I press delete and that gets rid of everything but the um, space in the hole. Okay, right. Now I go to file open and we're going to be adding some planets. So this is the first planet, I'm going to zoom in and we're going to use the ellipse select and we're going to try obviously and get it as close to the edges as we can, although it doesn't matter if you're not perfect, although you should try and be inside the edges of the planet, you don't really want dark lines around the edge. Control C, Control V, bring that layer to the top so you can see it. I'm going to zoom in. Make that bigger, make sure you press shift, otherwise you're going to end up with a spherical planet rather than a circular one. And place it where you want. And now I'll open another picture 
of a planet. I think this time I'll show you how to do Saturn. And this seems a bit long to me, so I'm just going to make it more spherical. And this is a two-step process. So the first is to select your planet. And then the next, just nudge it into where you would like it to be. And then the next is to grab the rings. And if you press shift when you're doing this, this stuff, um, it will keep all of those original masks on. Okay, so pressing shift allows you to do multiple masks. Control C. Control V. That's the big one. Press shift to keep this the same shape. And maybe spin it so it's a bit more dynamic. And the fact that these are all on different layers means that you can change where they are, placement, as you put more planets in. Um, and move them about and spin them as much as you like. I'm just going to do Earth now. I think this will be the last one I show you. It's the same as always. Mask it off with the ellipse select. Control C. Control V. And there's Earth. Okay. And that is the end of the first part of this tutorial. Join me again in part two.